Hey guys, I'm going to give you a update on the Terra Mod axles. I want to thank all the guys who have already put up pre-orders. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of stock here that's ready to ship, and uh, by the time this video actually comes out, you may have some of it in your hand and stuck under your truck. So, uh, considering that that's the case, I thought we better expedite this here and get you guys some information on how these things are put together and uh, some of the tricks that we've learned with uh, making yourself a set of awesome looking Terramod axles. So, anyways, uh, let me first of all go over a couple of things that are super important with these. Uh, the first thing that's super important is that you got to remember that these are not aluminum axles and unlike the metal head which you can just crank on the screws and whatever these are plastic housings there's a lot of little tiny details on here and uh, because there's so much little tiny details and stuff everywhere they're designed to be scale they're designed to be tough but they're not designed for you to crank on them with a power drill remember that you will tear out the threads, okay? Now, first of all, let me tell you there's four different kinds of axles that you can buy. Uh, I guess there's five options, but at the end of the day, you're getting some of them are duplicates. So, the first one is a 191 bare housing. That's this one, okay? This is a front housing. It's called 191 because by the time you actually add the C-hub on it, and the knuckle, see there's blind there. By the time you actually add your C hub on there and your steering knuckle, the actual distance between this pin, the hex pin right there, and the one on the other side, that distance is 191 millimeters from pin to pin. Okay? Like this. From this pin over here to this pin over here is 191 if you order an option number one or we'll actually build the whole thing for you option number two it's exactly the same housing you get an aluminum C hub you get an aluminum knuckle and you get a CVD driveline and you get a, a 1338 factory axial ring gear in there and a last locker from GCM we will build it for you if you choose option number two or option number four okay so number one is a 191 pin to pin uh, number two is this housing I mean number three sorry number three is this housing this is exactly the same housing except that as you can see we've got the C hub already part of the drive axle and because the C-Hub is already on the drive axle, this is actually a 183 SCX width axle. So we've got this distance here all shortened up because we don't have to have an extra bolt there and a bunch of splines and a bunch of material and a bunch of this and a bunch of that. So at the end of the day, if you want a nice narrow offset pig axle that'll fit under an SCX 10 body the same width, then you need a 183 which is option number three we will also build it for you complete and that's number four and uh, I'm in the middle of this one so this will just give you a preview of what's in there there is an axial ring gear and pinion there uh, all new bearings new axial ring and pinion new GCM locker there's some brand new CVD joints in there aluminum knuckle and uh, this side here is just about to go on you can also see that we've already when you get these in the package there's already hardware in all the screw holes okay we actually tap all the holes on the housing now there I know they're nylon you can just probably you know ram your screw in I don't know you probably can but we actually hand tap every one of these threads so that your screw goes right in nice and easy and uh, of course that brings us to the last unit which is number five this is a rear housing so 183 stock width of an SCX 10 these are totally empty so when you get this you will have to put in your own ring and pinion you'll have to put in your own locker you can put in your own center shafts and if you have an SCX 10 plastic housing you can take all your stuff out 
put it in there that's it it all fits in no problem now because we tap the screws in all of these the screws will literally go in by hand they don't need any kind of wrench you can put a wrench on them to help you out because they're small screws but when you go to assemble these guys you have one favorite friend that will help you assemble these for life this is it Shugu okay Shugu is the ultimate friend for building a Terramod axle and I'll tell you why you cannot lock tight onto a nylon axle it will not hold your threads because you can't lock tight on it you can't you don't want a CA on it because if you put CA on it or zap or crazy glue or whatever to try to keep the threads on then uh, you're gonna have another issue which is when you start to do rebuilds or take your links off or whatever then you're gonna start to wear out the threads that are in there because the CA will harden the nylon okay don't use it don't use Loctite don't use CA use Shugu now if you're already buying these you're probably already a custom truck builder and you probably already go through three or four of these tubes a year so I don't need to explain to you what Shugu is the stuff is fantastic it's totally plastic safe and the best part is all you gotta do is get a little tiny bit of Shugu I'm just about to assemble this knuckle here so I might as well do this you just put a little tiny bit of Shugu on the ends of your thread okay just like you would Loctite tiny little bit of shugu and then you can stick it right into the appropriate spot that you're trying to assemble and as you can see guys I'm just threading this in by hand because the threads are already tapped in there and then when you get to the bottom you can put your wrench on it make sure that when you're doing these on the front that you don't actually get the CVD hit with the screw Okay, depending on the knuckle that you're using, you could actually screw this in too far and actually rub the screw right onto the CVD, jo CVD and seize the CVD joint. So the screw head is not all the way down. It's about half of a thumbnail thickness worth off of the brass collar. Do I care? No, I don't care at all. And after the shoe goo dries, which is going to be in 15 seconds, then this is this screw will not fall out okay you do not have to crank on these things the same one with the links when you go to put your pan hard up top and all the other links the screws are actually already in the housing when you buy them so you can just simply pull it out okay put a little shoe goo on the end of the thread just the very end of the thread where it actually goes into the threads there put your link in there screw it in and just barely make contact just barely you do not have to crank it tight okay just barely make contact let the shoe goo set up in the hole so that it'll lock your screw in there and this will never come out it, like there's no need for you to be cranking on the threads on any of these screws okay same with the covers the covers have these tiny little screws on them all the way around and those screws are pretty long they got a lot of thread bite that's true but they're in a nylon housing so don't crank on them now I want to say this we said this already on the website page but I want to say this again every single one of these axles is made with a sintering process this is not made with some kind of inkjet printer thing it is not made with a wire like a wire that's prints off of a spool it is made out of laser sintered nylon dust powder okay why is that important because every single part on here is every bit as strong as every single other part so this dust cover here is also the bearing cap for this rear axle and this I can promise you is as strong as this truss on the axle it's as strong as the pinion cover it's as strong as the link mounts uh, every single component on here is as strong as every other component and that's because 
they're all made in official 3D dimension. Every piece of dust gets lasered onto every other piece of dust until you end up with this. These are really nicely done. So we're very happy that we do not own the very expensive machine that makes these. But we're also very happy that we can make use of it. And this is a solid, very nice product. And the nice part is this, the, like this entire housing assembly right here, this is a number three housing. It's a 183 with the C-hubs. 50 grams. That's it. The whole thing right here. 50 gram housing with the bearings in it. Not heavy. And nylon slides on rocks like you wouldn't believe. Go build your TerraMod axles. If you have any questions, make sure you send an email to service at GCM Racing. We'll help you out. And post your comments with anything that you need. And we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. And uh, we look really look forward to seeing TerraMod axles jammed under one of your rigs. And uh, thanks for showing us the pictures of the guys who have already done it. If you uh, need a fully built axle, guys, right from GCM. Have fun.